What's happening people? Welcome back to Ableton Tips. My name is La. Today I got something a little bit interesting for you. So I um, made a video for the sound design channel uh, showing this synth here. So some of you might recognize it. It's from uh, Max Cooper Perpetual Motion. And uh, yeah, I recreated the synth and then showed how it was made on the Samsung channel. But what I wanted to, to show were these textures here, which is something that he uses a lot in his music. And I think it sounds really great. It's also a bit of a Taurus kind of thing to do. He also does a lot of these uh, nice detailed textures. And I want to show you how you can uh, recreate that. So I have this group here called Textures, which sounds like this. So it might seem feel or seem a little bit random and it kind of is a little bit. That's kind of the fun of it. But there's also kind of phrases in there. It's it's following a, a kind of repetitive sequence. So there's something to kind of rhythm along to or groove along to. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can make these kind of grooves. We might not be able to recreate it exactly how I've done it here because uh, it will be really hard to find the exact loops and put them where, where I put them. But you can recreate so many different variations of this kind of thing. And then I'm just going to show you how you can process this kind of stuff to make it sound even more interesting. So uh, let's just set up a new group here. And we'll just get a few audio channels. And we'll just group these together. Textures two, and we can play the uh, the sounds in the background as we as we're moving along with this. But what we want to do first is essentially just get some sounds from. So I used the new Organica two pack, whereas it, I also use some stuff from this acoustic pack. If any of you guys have that, it's really good, um, which we can go back to. But let's go to this. So we're going to use a mixture of like drum loops or foley loops mostly like foley loops and then we want some kind of tonal thing as well it's quite nice to have that like a vocal thing or something that has a bit of tone uh so yeah let's find some cool stuff so yeah organic bits yeah even like that straight away just has this really nice texture to it and what I like to do is just not use it like the same and just loop it like this it's just like maybe having this bit at the start and what I'm going to create is just kind of some phrases. So we go like this. And we want to turn these down pretty much straight away. We could do it all together, but we'll just do it like this. Go to like 15. And we'll have a listen. Yeah, that's already pretty cool. They're a bit loud. Just turn this down. And then we could use, like, say, this bit here. And just reverse it. So we go. I still think they're a bit loud. It really needs to be not super obvious. Just a little bit more. And this one I didn't like that much, but let's take this one and then we'll just do another part of it. So say we go like this and we go here. Yeah, that'll work for now. We're going to have a lot more things in here. And you can do all this all, all on one channel if you want, but I like just having it on separate channels, doing different things, and then maybe layering them. So this, this is already very loud. See, that's quite cool. It kind of layers together. It's building into itself or into each other. So let's keep that one there. And then, then with this section, maybe we reverse it. So just pr by reversing, I'm just pressing R on it, and that will reverse it, and you'll get this kind of sound this feeling it's really nice so we'll just do that so it's kind of filling the gap here let's get some more let's move down a bit see that's quite cool it's this feel, feel like a little tap on a mic almost and let's just get that like here and what we're looking at is this section so this block so that's kind of a, a phrase in a way. I can't really hear that, to be honest. <laughs> Probably just take it away. Let's get rid of it. We'll find some more. And 
We want things that are just very subtle. What is quite cool is having things like this as like a bit of a crashing sound. So you do like this. Yeah, like that. And you could duplicate it. So I'm just clicking it, holding control and dragging it over. And we have that kind of thing. So I'm just reversing it into itself. Yeah, this is nice. That little shh, that's what we want. Yeah, really nice. And we can put that one again. And what we do on the second phrase, so this is our second phrase here, we can duplicate it here. Uh, yep, yeah, like that. But we can make it a little bit different. Maybe here we could have this one. We'll leave that one there. But this one could reverse. And we'll have something else here as well. Yeah, this could be cool. So this is kind of the white noisy layer. Let's keep that going all the way through. Yeah, and maybe let's continue this here and we just reverse it. Yeah, cool. So now we have a phrase and you can just duplicate this now. So you have an interesting phrase that, that evolves and changes. It's different here. And then we can go further here on this second part. This is uh, the second eight, I believe. And so for this part, maybe we just have something that with a bit of tone. You don't have to do this, but I think it sounds quite nice. Um, and so, yeah, I found something after a bit of digging and it's this uh, little loop here. It's quite nice to find something that's like just a little bit plucky. Uh, so not like a big long string or something like that, but I mean, you could use whatever you like, but just having this here, we'll put it in. I think it fits in, the key, the key seems correct. And we're just gonna turn it right down. And I'm just gonna kind of chop this up and use it in different ways. So we'll have this here and then we'll reverse it here. Nice, and then we'll do some more of this. Maybe we'll use a different part of it, like this here. And then this could maybe reverse back. Now let's use this just here instead. And now we've got this cool thing that's just gonna run through. We'll put this one here so it kind of repeats. Now, so the last thing that I wanted to do is just a little bit of kind of effects and ear candy. So for the processing, you might wanna do a bit of EQ. So we'll just put a EQ8 and we're just gonna cut some lows because it's probably gonna be a bit of rumble. You can see here is a bit of a build up. It will just get rid of that. Uh, you could side chain to the kick as well if you wanted to. It might help in some sections. So we'll just do that. We'll put a compressor, side chain to the kick. Put the ratio high and bring it over. Something like that, nothing too heavy. And now we wanna do some effects. So I have something already set up here, a little grain delay. I'll show you how to use this or how to set it up. We'll just uh, reload it. So now it's the default. So I actually started not using this because I didn't really know how to use it. And the, all it was is just the frequency. When you have it this to, to where it's at here at 60, it doesn't sound that great. So it's quite nice if you just bring it down to around here, so just a little bit, so not so much of the sound is being used. And then we're gonna put the pitch all the way up to 12 semitones. Put a little bit of feedback, and we'll leave the dry wet where it is and the, and the time where it is. You can play around with these, obviously. Put a little bit of spray, it sounds quite nice as well. And so for this, what we wanna do, we'll have a listen to it first as we bring it over. So we're gonna bring the, the return volume all the way up. So all of these textures are gonna go into here. And then we'll just listen. <laughs> So that's really nice, but maybe we want to just bring that in gradually so it's not always there. You could also do it manually. So we'll actually do that. We'll just record. So we'll hit record, do this. So I went uh, full volume here at the end and that just built up a little bit more towards the end of the, of the section. And now we have this really interesting textured loop to go along with our nice chords.
cool and that's pretty much it obviously you can go really crazy with this and put loads of different things in there and you could do longer sections so you could d duplicate this and then do another section and your track's just going to feel like it's constantly evolving and, and moving and feel like it's quite alive uh, so yeah i hope this was helpful and useful for you guys if it was leave a comment down below like the video to help with the algorithm also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you don't miss out on any more of our content thank you very much guys i'll catch you in the next one if you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production program for Ableton Live. You will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed from an empty file to professional production as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening.